The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winters in Lewis and Clark County? smell. It's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right.
911 emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I, I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. Everything's here exactly the same as when me and Mom left ten years ago. It's so... <sighs> Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. <laughs> I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. Is this a joke? Hello? Can, can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh this is, um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is, uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I... I you... I... Bye. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that.
Hello? Hey, you still there? Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. I I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. No! I was thinking of jogging into town. Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen. If your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with... 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... Uh, to, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone... <sighs> no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it. I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place... I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh, fine. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Uh, the stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. Hey, 
found anything useful? No. No keys. No garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. I can't believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. Irving? It's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure. You'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> Starving suddenly seems like an acceptable option. Irving? Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Uh, who? Old farting ghost! <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghosts to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well, that's long gone. How's it going? It looks real... complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess? What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? 
The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like 220? Oh. I don't like the sound of oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up! Huh? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. And here he is, in tip-top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> uh, now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it? Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. It's endearing. But I'm not 16 anymore. There's lots of other rooms in the hotel. No. I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey! Listen, I just wanted to say, if I came across as obnoxious... No problemo. <laughs> I get it. It almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I... From the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, and all that rush, well... Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna... chill in my room, with the posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, Totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for, um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life then. Wow. It's just... Your job. I know. Night. Night. 